Hey guys, it's time for another Habs News Update, and in today's video, we're gonna discuss what the hell just happened to Yoel Armia. We'll talk about some praise that's been thrown back and forth between the Habs and the Lightning, we'll take a look at what Luke Richardson said to the media today, and we'll have a peekaboo at the lineup that was being used during practice today, just before the team frigged off to Tampa Bay. But first, if you guys are a fan of the Habs, or you're just as grouchy looking as this eel that I saw earlier today, then please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload hockey content daily and would really enjoy having some more you grasshopping lunatics tag along for the ride. Now, first up, before we begin yapping about the lineup that was being used at practice today, I'm just gonna have to break down and tell you guys the bad news, okay? As Yoel Armia was absent from practice today for COVID protocol reasons. Now I know what you're thinking, because I was thinking it earlier. Didn't Armia already have COVID like back in March? And yeah, apparently he did. And I kind of thought this flu was like AIDS. You can't catch it twice? <sighs> But I don't know, I guess I'm wrong, and Armia may have just gotten struck by lightning twice here. But hey, before everybody gets their underwear wedged too far up in their ass about this, nothing has been confirmed yet. Bergevin said today that Armia will not be on the flight headed to Tampa Bay, but there still is a little optimism that maybe, just maybe, he passes the next test and gets down there soon with his mates. So with Yoel Armia out of the lineup, guess who gets in and takes his place on the fourth line? That's right, our boy Jake Evans. So check it out, as you can see here, the lineup is the same. Nothing has changed, except we got Jake Evans slotted in on the fourth line now in place of Yoel Armia. And hey, it sucks, because Armia was having such a good postseason so far, so let's hope he's back soon. The guy is a beast, but at the same time, Evans himself is a workhorse, so let's see what he can do now, if he possibly gets back into the lineup. Moving on, so Luke Richardson met with the media today, and he echoed the message that Bob Ganey had delivered to the team a week or two earlier before they started their semifinals when he said, hey, they've got to be proactive, study the opponent, take charge, and be a winner. And you know what? Everybody and their dogs and cats have been calling the Habs underdogs. Even me. But according to Luke Skywalker, or Luke Richardson, he would say that the team does not consider themselves underdogs. That's right. And that attitude was cemented in into their heads by Dominique Ducharme. He has successfully instilled the culture that they belong there. The Habs, they believe in themselves. And they ain't taking no for an answer. <laughs> yeah. Just like when we call KFC 10 minutes before it closes, huh? <laughs> And you gotta love that attitude. Now, there was also a lot of praise getting thrown around over the past couple of days as both teams are trying to show some respect for one another. Just yesterday, I read an article about Steven Stamkos and he said that the Habs, they're about to play their toughest opponent of the playoffs. But... He would also say that the Tampa Bay Lightning themselves were about to play their toughest opponent of the playoffs. Meaning pretty much that both teams are exactly where they belong. So wise words from Stevie Wonder here. Carey Price would also be asked about Andre Vasilevsky today in front of the media and he wasted no time giving him lots of credit saying that he's been doing a good job and the Habs forwards are going to have to get in his grill and create a lot of traffic in front of the net if they want to get a puck past him. Now speaking of Carey Price, Julian Brisewa of the Tampa Bay Lightning also had quite a bit of praise for Price today, and he said as of right now, Carey Price has a Hall of Fame career if he were to retire. So yeah, lots of love kicking around right now between these two teams, but hey, that's definitely going to change throughout this week. Give it another few days, and everybody will be ready to throw around some fun flaming bags of dog shit at one another. That's right. Anyway, guys, that does it for this Habs News update. If anybody's got anything they'd like to add, let me know in the comment section. And hey, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.